What is up, YouTube? We're back for another video. In this video, we're going to be doing recruit packs again because today they have increased the odds, which you can see right here. It's now instead of a 68 plus to 69 plus, the odds have went from, I think it was a 75 plus for 8.8% or something like that for a recruit pack. Maybe it's lower, I'm not sure. Then we have 69 plus is 11% for 79 plus. I'm not sure what it was before. But odds have been boosted a little bit. If you guys want freshman packs, if you guys want me to open some freshman packs, honestly, the odds don't look that bad. Make sure you guys comment below, like, like the video. We get 10 likes, I'll open some freshman packs for you guys. And make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys do all that. Hit the noti bell. And we're going to get right into the pack opening right here. I do have a giveaway happening Thursday, the 25th at, I'm pretty sure I put it at 6 Eastern. Time and pressure at 6 Eastern. I'll be doing a live stream giving away 86 overall in case you missed it. Champion for the cheapest possible price, which I'm not exactly sure what that is, but I'll be throwing them for whatever the cheapest you can possibly throw a card up for. So let's get right into this pack opening. We've got some, we, we got some silvers, we got some go greens already. Hoping to pull some blues. The market has not really changed on low cards. The high market has changed a little bit. It's went down a little bit. For the high cards, these people are starting to sell off their, their top card because of the overall increase. The low cards are actually going, like they're staying the same or going up a little bit. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I'm currently still selling all those cards I got from um, that reroll from the... Conference stories, pro, conference story glitch. So that's why I'm at 2.8 million coins. I still have a lot of them, and I have this cost 150k right here. But I'm open. I'm we're opening 100 recruit packs, so 90 recruit packs and 10 toppers. Seeing if we can profit. Last time we profited, got 150k. So if we don't profit right here, then last the last recruit pack um, opening paid for this one. So. But the goal is to profit. Because pack has increased and the prices have not. I mean the prices have not de the prices have not decreased, which means normally if pack odds increase, prices don't um decrease, I mean this should be like you should be able to make profit, you would, in theory. But risk these are still very low overall packs. You still have to get luck. It's still it's still not guaranteed at all. And we got to say no overall player right there. I wonder how these like 70, 79 overall players have went in prices. Uh, do 79 still go for 12K? Probably not. Or whatever, 10K, whatever they were going for. 78 right there. I'll take it. 78 and 79. We're hoping to pull some blues. I'm not really. Last time we pulled an 85. Before that, we pulled an 84. I'm not really expecting to pull any blues, obviously, because... 65 plus pack, but hopefully we can. We got another 79 overall. We've already put more 78 to 79 overall players than we did in our last opening, which shows the odds have clearly been updated a little bit. Next one right here. We got another 68. It looks like, as what I can see from the market right now, it looks like you, might, you can actually like flip better for 80 to 81s because of the the, the price cap has went down. And normally, normally when the price is, when the price cap goes down, the market goes down. All like all cards go down to that value. But for some reason, the eighty overalls, 80, 80 to eighty threes, all stay about the same price. So now you snipe them even better now. People can put them up for four k now for eighty overalls. So instead of buying them for seven k as you were doing before, and selling them back for twelve thirteen k, you can now buy them for four k and sell them for twelve thirteen k. Obviously, I'm not going to be getting them for 4K, but you can get some for like 6K, 5K, 7K. People won't be like just thinking like, oh, I'm just going for the minimum price. I'm, like 7, 8K is actually good for me. Like, it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot nicer. Like I think right now. And so it looks like when I when I was posting my cards, there was a lot of recent sales that were like nine, seven, six, eight K. A lot of different prices in there. They are pretty profitable. We have got, we have not got a blue yet, but we're not that many packs in, I would assume. We're only five minutes in this video, so I'm not really, I'm assuming we're probably like, yeah, we're only like, we're 37 packs in right now, I think that is. 
So we still have de we still have plenty to go on this opening. If we if we get some all like 84, 85 again, that'd be great. And on in all honesty, probably I'm probably get like 81 or 82 on this opening. Because my luck in the last two have been too it's been too good. Oh luck. And we got a 74 player from Arkansas. Next one, we have 66. The reason my points went down is because there was another one of those booster packs to give you some like a B and D player. Some Xerxes said on Twitter it was it was quote unquote like it was like showing it was like she better off than what it was showed. So I tried it, got an 82 corner. Not really worth the 400 points, whatever it was, but oh well. That's why I got it's that's why it's a pre-order points. I didn't spend any money on so oh well. I will be planning on doing the 1 million challenge again on Friday because I feel like it's kind of, I kind of um, scammed you guys out of that 24 hour challenge because uh, I took it, I, I got it from a glitch. Let's be honest right now. It's a, it was a glitch. I pulled really well from a glitch. I don't really think it's a fair thing. That's why I still, I'm doing that giveaway still. But yeah, I feel bad about this, taking advantage of a glitch when other people couldn't. So, I will be doing it again on Friday with Ultimate Alumni. I wonder if they're, I think they're going to be 86 overalls, probably also. Going to be a very interesting promo. The Ultimate Alumni was, was a pretty good promo last, uh, last week. So, I don't know. Also, season rewards, season rewards, like head-to-head -head seasons, solo season rewards have been updated, they've been upgraded because... They're they're worth four and they got they got fixed and all that. So now like all American solo season now give you like two packs instead of one pack, so that actually like makes sense now. That's due to the higher difficulties when before freshmen were giving out the most packs or maybe the same pack I don't know what it was. But make sure you guys be playing those those head to head seasons your solo seasons all doing all those that stuff now because you got boosted now, a little bit. But. We are, we have not pulled a 80 plus yet. It's getting a little scary, but oh well. It's, if we lose 150k, I lose 150k. That's it. It's, it, I don't know. EA's probably trying to take my coins away now because I got 1.7 million coins worth of profit on a, on a glitch reroll. So I'm not really expecting to get anything. But we did get a 74 hour kicker, we got a, a 68 Garrett Green. It, maybe, if, maybe can I pull eighty? Can I pull eighty four Gary Green? Maybe that'd be pretty cool. I, I would say. Next one right here. A seventy nine overall player from Ohio. We're in close to the eighties, but we're pulling just below the eighty. That player is not even close to eighty. He is sixty seven overall. Imagine if you're one of these college players. You log into you log, log into this, and you see you're a sixty five overall player. Like imagine that you work your whole life to get an, to be a, a D1 college program, and you and you load the game up and you're a 65 overall player. Like that must suck. A blue 80 overall player from Tex Texas A&M. Don't know how to say your first name, but your last name is Walker. Pretty good pull right, th right there at the 12 12 13k pull right there. I'll take it. Hope you need. Hopefully, you can pull some more. At 72 overall green. We got a silver right here. We got Charles Kellum. I think that's how it Kellum. I don't know. We got Boston. A 67 overall right guard. I think it was. That's what it said. We got a 70 overall safety from App State right there. We got our. We got a 66 receiver from JMU. Can we get a blue? Nope, we got a green. A 73 overall from Notre Dame. Another one. So we got a 60 halfback from South Alabama. I think that's what the team is. We have one from Penn State. Come on, yay. Bless me up. Bless me up. Okay. EA is not blessing me up, but you know, it's blessing. Bless me up. You guys have been you guys been going crazy in these videos, liking them up, com commenting, subscribing. You guys have been going crazy. I don't even I, I can't thank you enough. Like 
this past week has been my best my my best ever YouTube week of all time. It's been really it's been wild. It's been crazy. I appreciate all the love. I'm gonna keep pumping out content for you guys. Try and do my very best to make you guys as many coins as possible. Try and make you guys millions of coins and make everyone every single person watching this video rich in the game so you don't have to spend any money on this any money on this game at all, ever. That's the whole goal of this channel. Make sure that you guys don't have to spend money on the game or do anything do any of that. And just be able to make as many coins as possible and have your dream team in this game. That's my goal. As we are done with 90 recruit packs, we have 10 69 plus fantasy players. First one we got a green, 72 overall receiver. Second one we got a gray, 69 overall right end. We have nine more of these. I feel like it looks like we're going to lose a lot of coins on this opening, but oh well. We got a 72 and we got a 74. Yeah. These packs, honestly, uh, pack odds might have increased, but these packs really aren't really, they aren't really that great. They really, really don't hit that good, I don't think. But... Um, yeah, we're not really getting anything. We need 80. We need 80 pluses right here. And it's not looking good. At all. It's looking really bad. 70 overall. On 75, like, really? Give me a 75 overall. Like, come on. Give me a, give me, give me 80 plus, please. Even the 68 plus packs are even better than this one. Like, from when the odds were not boosted yet. We got four more. Can we get a, can we get a last... Like one of these last pack saviors, seventy-two and a seventy. That's not a good. That's not good right there. Three more. But this is true. The reality of the of the recruit pack right here. The recruit pack is not guaranteed profit at all. A lot of these people say the recruit pack's really good, but the sad thing is, like you can see, it's supposed to be boosted odds, and well, you're not. I'm not really getting anything. You see, I'm just getting the base minimum of that. I got basically the minimum of that pack right there. This pack is not very, like, very consistent, to be honest with you. We got a 70 overall and a 74. Out of 100 recruit packs, we got one elite. Well, that's not very good. At all. It's honestly kind of awful. But... So I'm gonna go through every. I'm gonna go through the whole opening that we got, like all 100 packs, calculate everything, see if we did how much we lost, or if we somehow broke even. Let me back once we Back of all of my calculations, I'm pretty sure it looks like we lost about. Let me just minus this, minus this off. Looks like we lost about 70 to 71 thousand if we sell everything. As if we sell everything that's left here. We we lost about seventy to seventy one thousand coins, which is um, not very good because that means I lost half my coins on that opening. I guess you can say I only got one eighty, but I don't I don't know I don't think it's worth the risk honestly on this recruit pack opening. I don't think it's worth. But if you guys want to see it again, I can do it. Just comment below if you, like, if you guys want me to see see me do it again. But that's going to end this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.